When I paint Thousand Suns, I usually paint blue first and then the gold trim after. But a lot of people tell me it's faster to paint the gold first and then fill in the blue after. So today, I'm gonna time myself painting both methods and we're gonna find out which is actually faster. I will be using two Scarab Occult models that I have based in grey. And yes, I am aware that you can base your models in Retributor Gold to save some time. And I promise that I will address this later on in the video. I will also not be counting drying time or time spent holding paints up to the camera. And I will be painting these up to a tabletop standard, so no highlights. Alright, let's start with method 1, gold first. And I'm starting the timer. Now let's base everything in gold. That took us 5 minutes and 47 seconds. Now we're gonna get the green and fill in some details. Time check, 6 minutes 39 seconds. Now some white for the glorious loincloth, 7 minutes 32 seconds. And now we're gonna grab the thousand suns blue and fill in all the blue panels. Now this actually took longer than expected because I had to squeeze my brush into a lot of tricky recessed areas to paint the blue while being very careful not to let the sides of the brush touch the gold. And because this was so tricky, I actually made a ton of mistakes so we're gonna have to spend some time cleaning that up later. So after that step, we were sitting at 26 minutes and 46 seconds total. Now we're gonna grab some black and fill in all the areas on the gun and the sword. Time check, 31 minutes and 39 seconds. Now we're gonna get some yellow and paint all the stripes in the headdress and on the shoulder pads. Time check, 34 minutes, 38 seconds. Now we're gonna get some lead belcher and fill in any metal details like the blade on the sword and the vents on the backpack. We took about 3 minutes for that step so we're now sitting at 37 minutes and 51 seconds. And now it is time to do clean up for all the mistakes I made. Now a lot of these mistakes came from when I painted the blue in the recessed areas. And this step took about 14 minutes, so that puts us at 51 minutes and 59 seconds. Now finally, we are going to hit everything on the model with a black wash. This is the final step, and after finishing this, we were at 55 minutes and 7 seconds. Great, now let's try the second method, painting blue first. And I'm starting the timer, so let's paint everything in blue. That took us 5 minutes and 44 seconds. And now we're gonna base coat the gun and the sword in black. That took us about two and a half minutes, bringing us to eight minutes and 17 seconds. Now we're gonna grab the yellow and do all the stripes in the headdress and the shoulder pads. Time check, 10 minutes and 27 seconds. Now we're gonna grab the green and just pick out the eyes. Time for some white to paint that lovely, lovely loincloth. Time check, 11 minutes and 24 seconds. And now it's time to do the dreaded gold trim. And honestly, I find this easy than filling in blue panels after painting the gold. The reason is that the gold details lie higher than the blue panels. So you can just use a very light gentle brush stroke and because the gold bits are raised, you don't have to worry about the sides of your brush touching anything else. So that actually took me about 16 minutes which brings us to 27 minutes and 21 seconds. Now that we've painted the gold, we can grab the green again and use it to paint any little gems and stuff that lie on top of the gold trim. Time check, 28 minutes and 7 seconds. Great. Now some lead belcher to paint all the silver details. That brings us to 31 minutes and 1 second. And now we are just gonna do clean up for all the mistakes I made. Now because the gold details are higher than the blue details, when painting the gold after the blue, I actually made less mistakes. And so I spent way less time cleaning up. I took about 4.5 minutes. And that brings us to 35 minutes and 36 seconds. And finally we are going to grab a black wash and hit the entire model with it. And that brings our total time for painting this model to 30 38 minutes and 7 seconds. Alright, so let's look at the breakdown for how long each step took. Obviously, we finished the blue first model much faster than the gold model. That being said, instead of priming in grey, you can choose to prime your model in Retributor Armor, which is the gold paint that I use. This means that you can cut out the time spent manually basing the model in gold, and that would bring the total time for the gold method down to 49 minutes and 19 seconds. Also, I acknowledge that I have much more practice painting the blue first method. As a result, I make less mistakes mistakes and spend less time doing cleanup. So let's say I practice the gold method and I become just as good at it as the blue method. We can then assume that my cleanup time will be about the same. And that would bring the gold method down to 39 minutes and 47 seconds.
sense. But look at that, it's still slower. Okay, so let's say you are an amazing painter and you make zero mistakes. We will cut down the cleanup time to zero. Then and only then does the gold method become faster. That being said, it is a difference of less than three minutes. And let's be real, most of us cannot paint a model without making some mistakes. Also, in general, I just don't really enjoy painting little recessed details without the sides of my brush touching the gold. And so I am going to be sticking to the blue first method. But that is a personal preference and you as your own person can choose to paint your models however you like. But hey, let me know what you think about this issue. Do you prefer the gold method? Do you prefer the blue method? State your preference and we can have a giant argument in the comments below. But anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my Patreon. Hope you found this useful and I'll see you all next time.